Now, when the tide's short, you don't actually need your grapnel lead. You um, don't, no. You can use a, uh, a rolling lead, um, but you've got another sort. I have, yeah. So well, I what I've got before, here, um, it's, it's, it's actually another, it's, an, another, it's from the breakaway stable again. Um, it's quite a clever uh, invention once again. And basically, it's a, it's a breakaway flat lead. Again, it's got a bait clip on. Now, that's not right. really for distance. That's a bit of a... Um, uh, that might confuse people thinking, well, once you've got this bait clip on, it's for distance casting. Oh, I see. So you can use it with the clip rig. Yeah, you but could. Not go, the, the idea is to get bait out there in good condition. Presumably. Yeah, for a specific type of bait. Sometimes if we're match angling, uh, we might use a, a very soft bait, like a bunch of muddies or whites. Yeah, white uh, but we don't cast them great distance. You don't need to cast them a great distance. But what you do want is them to arrive on the seabed yeah. intact. And then, of course, you can you can move that lid just a little bit. Like Absolutely, like flounders are always attracted to a moving bait. Absolutely, aren't they? flatfish are pretty much predators, yeah. aren't they? And so they are very much attracted to to moving bait. So the beauty of this is, um, because we're short range fishing, we can't let our uh, our tackle disappear down tide over no, three other no. competitors. But what we can do is we can we can do inward movement so we can cast out yeah. and we can actually pull this towards us and move move our bait from time to time yeah, which can form of an attractor that's yeah that, that's yeah. quite a lot and again you know it lays flat so it's not going to roll yeah. now there are other times where sometimes we want to fish a rolling lead in yeah. which case we would use um, if it's very yeah, yeah just a plain lead which can actually roll around and we cast it out a bit not further. a good idea to use on an eight meter tide but no uh, not the, on the, over the slack perhaps. well that's <laughs> right yeah but yeah no that's right but certainly you know if we're shorter range fishing or or we're, we're on a bigger tide and we want to move our bait then these are these are really good um, addition to anyone's tackle box yeah. um, if they want to do a bit you've bit also got some leads there gemini ones that uh, can be adjusted they're different styles I they? have there's a couple of Gemini ones here actually um, Gemini light breakaway I think are, are, are fantastic innovators in our sport Jim you know they they're, they're responsible for bringing out some fantastic bits of kit um, so as you can see here I've got two separate Gemini leads uh, now that you can see uh, this particular one has got a long stem yeah okay so it's called it's got a longer base than the uh, than the standard breakaway lead if I just show you if we take this one off here we can see why uh, they operate on a different way. So sometimes when we're fishing and we need, um, if we've got a rough sea and we really need to make sure that we're, we, yeah. we really need to grip him. I mean, these do grip obviously, but sometimes you want something with more grip. And if you can see the different way these fall, this one here, straight away, it falls down. So yeah. they sit completely differently. Yeah. Now this one obviously pulls into the seabed. This one, because it, it's natural, it naturally falls down and pulls into the seabed more. Yeah. It's going to grip more. Yeah, no. There's another good thing about these as well. Unlike the breakaway, which um, you've got two parts here that break away, so they're connected to each other. The difference with the uh, Gemini LEDs is these are all independent. So you've got four oh, yeah. one, independent one breakaways. Break Absolutely. Own. So yeah, what you've got here, you've got these that break away um, independently of each other. So you've got four there. Yeah. You have to clip them in independently. Yeah. Um, and these are a great bit of kit. We tend to use these, as I say, when it's rougher when it's rough. or when there really is a big tide running. Sometimes we, as you know, we go down to Dungeness or mm. Dover Breakwater. Oh. Uh, most of us will take these type of leads then because they really, you really need your, your, your tackle not to move um, to, to wherever you cast it to. It needs to stay there, otherwise you're going to get lost tackle. So um, we, we like these leads for when, we, when now, we're fishing in now strong tide. from there. When, when I'm out in the boat up tiding, yep. we use ones with longer um, flukes on. You, you've got one of those here. I you? have, I have. Um, yes, I have. Uh, what I've got is, I say, uh, taking on from the Gemini, it's actually the same um, lead yeah, body. So the beauty of these is these... extended it out the bottom of the lead. Well, yeah, what yeah. you buy is you can buy the leads and then you can buy the add-on bits. Right. So you can uh, buy the uh, different parts from Gemini um, to add on to, to make a lead something different. So what we've got here is we've got this one here, which is a standard breakaway Gemini lead. But actually, what we can do is if we just show you here, you just unscrew the head, and then we can turn that into whatever we like. Yeah, we like could, for example, we could, this one. Exactly, okay. so this, this just screws into place. I won't take it off, but I'll just show you. It actually screws into this. You buy yeah. these heads separately, mm. you make them up, and then you uh, screw them into place to make, um, and, and that would be, because it's fixed, that would be a really good lead for uptiding. Now I know, Jim, you're a very experienced boat angler and you're gonna show me 
well, the best way it's actually of actually only an extension of what they've done on the smaller okay. ones. Okay, but um, you you must have it with this last inch or so turned in. Do you um, need the pliers, Jim, or you are? No, no, you can do it with your hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We don't always have pliers to hand. No, but um, you've got to get that, as you say. So with the angle, it's in like that. That pulls straight down into the sand. Right. But I do like a fixed one. I must admit, in the boat. Mm. Um, these these wires will pull out under stress. Yeah. Um, but what you don't want is it to pull out when you don't want it to pull out. If you no. see what I mean, it's got to hold in the tide until you get your fish. And obviously, you can see with these, they've got a much greater length on yeah, the wires. Oh yeah. So obviously, that's going to give you a lot more yeah, and, holding power, and isn't it? The other thing is because you're up tiding, you've got a long bow, a big bow in the line. You need this to hook the fish. Right. It's got to hold in when they they get hold of that bait. They swim away, right. and it's the fact that this is anchored down hooks them firmly. Right, so um, it's like a bolt, almost like a bolt rig. Yeah. So they swim and away. It, and if it's a cod, it will then the release this, yeah. and then you'll see your rod kick up, yeah. and immediately then you pick up your slack and get into the fish. But um, I mean, breakaways can be used um, up tide in from a boat, and um, it depends on the strength of the tide. Yes. Half the time, that's so weights basically. It's, it's the same with beach and boat fishing. We tend to have. Quite a range of different well, you've got to, leads, yeah. then, and we change them according to right, the conditions. Uh, whatever conditions we're fishing. That's right. Yeah.